All right. Irish news headlines. What's going on in Ireland? Roy Foster. Britain co-signed to margins by the stupid party. I don't know what that means. Mary Robinson. Is, that's not a real name. Mary Robinson. Is that an alias? Brexit could have a domino effect. What the fuck is Brexit? Isn't this shit Trump got in trouble for? That's what I loved about Trump this week when he fucking went to Scotland and he goes, yeah, just like Scotland, we're going to take our country back. Because I guess Scotland was voting about whether they still wanted to be a part of the European Union. And uh, Scotland overwhelmingly agreed to stay part of it, evidently. I don't know. And Trump went there and didn't know it. And I was reading like what everyone was saying. And it was, you know, trash and Donald Trump, and it was so similar to what people write to me every week. John Sally isn't dead, you fucking moron. <laughs> I said the wrong name. I didn't mean John Sally, you know. Whatever. What do you, what do you want from me? All right. Uh, former president. President of what? Mary Robinson? She was president of Ireland? You know what? She's a lovely lady. I'd vote for her. Where the, when the fuck was she president? Former president Mary Robinson has said that young people in the UK must feel very let down by the outcome of the Brexit Brexit modal referendum. And she appealed to the EU to remember its core values. What other vague shit did she say? Jesus Christ, can you help out an American here? What the fuck's going on over there? Ah, Christ, is this some bullshit I have to know when I go over there? Some sort of referendum. Should the United Kingdom remain a member of the European Union or leave the European Union? What's going on with the European Union, the EU? What happened? You guys formed a super group, but now all the egos are getting in the way? What happened? Huh? Greece's fucking economy went down, and all of a sudden it's fucking with you guys? You never do that. Never join a fucking group. Take it from a complete loner who does stand-up, right? You don't join a group. You know what I mean? You use a group, okay? What do you guys do? Oh, yeah, you cater parties. All right, I'm having a party. I don't want to join your party operation. I'd like you to come over here and uh, tie some balloons to some fucking lampposts. Could you do that? And how much would that cost? And here's your check, and get out of my life. That's how you do it. Why the fuck would you? It's actually amazing that they got it done. You know what I mean? Considering all the fucking wars they've had over the years, you know? Fascism, communism, fucking whatever the fuck we're called. I don't know what the fuck we are. How the fuck did they do all that? Why did they do all that? That just all comes down to bankers. What was wrong with having the pound and then the fucking Ireland had the shillelagh, right? What did they have in Sweden? I don't know what the fuck they had. Some sort of thing. It looked like a, that design looked like a little sphincter. I don't fucking know. I don't understand why everybody has to get in bed with everybody else. Well, it's going to be better. It's going to create more jobs. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. It's just going to make the people at the top make more fucking money. It's just like, you know, can we have more people to fuck in the ass? Can we have some of your people? What if we What if we combined all the people, right? We fucking microchipped them. We phased out fucking money. What if we did that, right? And now, yeah, everything's on your little microchip here, right? People getting mugged in the future is going to be fucking hilarious. It's going to be some fucking nerdy kid getting dragged in by a football player. He's going to grab a bunch of Dr. Peppers and some fucking Zagnut bars, and then they're going to grab the nerd's wrist and fucking just keep swiping it. <laughs> Making him pay for all this shit, right? If you're fucking rich, you're going to, you can't even go out of the fucking house. Someone's going to grab you and take you to a Lexus dealership. Just have a fucking... <laughs> Grab the guy, just fucking, just start scanning him. Oh, that'd be great. You know, it's not going to happen. They're going to have, you're going to have like 50 million. Oh my God. This is, there's going to be some shit going down. If you get, if you're going to have a microchip in your fucking body that has every fucking cent you ever earned that you didn't blow on fucking Bud Lights and hookers, you know, doesn't that make you like, What's going to stop somebody from just coming up and just sucker punching you and then carving your fucking microchip out of your arm, right? And then it's like they got an extra life, and then they just have this fucking thing, and they just start running around with tweezers just scanning a bunch of shit. Why wouldn't they just... You know what they're going to do? They'll fucking chop your arm off, right? And then fucking hide your body. 
Okay. You know, like how they used to do that, like allegedly the uh, the Westies, they chop some guy's arm off and then they would go around committing murders and then they'd take the arm out of the fridge and they'd put the fingerprints on the gun and then they just put the arm back in the fridge. It's If you get past the fucking humanity, you know, it's really brilliant. And slash borderline fucking hilarious. Um, man, I bet those guys could tell a story. Jesus Christ, you know, the shit they did. Horrible shit, but Jesus. You have to be a funny bastard on some fucking level. I know you're out of your mind, but there is something fucking hilarious about that. You know, and then the cops, the, you know when they were drinking, the cops are just like, that's fucking guy, he struck again. You know, they were laughing, going, dude, you realize we're inventing a serial killer. And they'd all be sitting there laughing their balls off. And then at some point, the laughter would die down as they then realized, like, wait a minute, we're, we're kind of serial killers. Well, we're all doing it. It's a group effort, you know. It's not like it's one person. So, yeah, you know, whatever. Order another Jameson. <laughs> 